Kudu Zangpo. Welcome to Bhutan e-learning project. I am Jamyang Siltim, teacher at Chuka Centre School. This economics lesson is intended to the key stages 4 and 5. With this, I am going to teach you today on the topic trade. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to define trade. You will be able to explain the types and the difference between internal and a external trade. You will be able to analyze the reasons for a trade. Now, let us move to the lesson. These are some of the pictures that represents food items, clothes, vegetables, cookery's item. Now my question here is, do you produce everything that you need? One more time, do you produce everything that you need? Your time starts now. Thank you so much for your mental response. Yes, we cannot produce all the goods that we need. Therefore, we purchase from the market. Let's think about mobile phone. Mobile phone. Is it the commodity that you produce it or you bought it from the market? Yes, you bought it from the market. So, trade facilitates the acquisitions of goods and services which we cannot produce. With this note, let us define what is trade. Or let us ask ourselves, what is trade? Through these pictures, it represents the types of trade. So trade refers to the exchange of goods and services that happens within and outside the country. One more time, trade is the exchange of goods and services that happens within and outside the country. Now, the types of trade. Now, I want you to find or you to point out which picture represents the internal trade. Obviously, the one which represents a Bhutan map represents a internal trade or domestic trade and another one represents a external or international trade now internal or a national trade refers to the exchange of goods and services that happens within the nation whereas international trade refers to the exchange of goods and services that happens to or more countries. One more time, to or more countries. Now we are done with the definitions of these two types of trade. Now let us further explore what are the examples of internal trade. I'll give you some more seconds. I'll give you a few seconds to think what are some of the examples of internal trade. Yes. Do you see rightly? When the people from Tashyangsi, when they sell this product in Thimpu, 
Similarly, when the people from Shemgang produces what? Bamboo product and make it available in other parts of Zongkak. When the people from Bumtang produces Bukhari and make it available in other parts of Zongkak. So these are some of the examples of internal trade. Why? Because this happens within the geographical boundary of a nation, within the nation. Now about external trade. When Bhutan exports electricity, when Bhutan exports cash crops like oranges and cardamoms, we call it as an example of examples of international trade, international trade or external trade. Why? Because there is the involvement of two or more countries. Yes, you are right. Because there is the involvement of two or more countries. Now with this, we learned what is mean by trade, examples of trade. Now let us differentiate these two types of trade. And these two types of trade, one is internal, one is external, can be differentiated based on the extent of market, based on the currency that we used based on the political system. So internal trade happens within the geographical boundary of a nation. Within the geographical boundary of a nation. But the external trade, it happens between two or more countries. It happens outside the geographical boundary. In internal trade, we use only a same currency, that is local currency. For, an exam for example, if I am to trade within Bhutan, I have to use the local currency of our country. What is that? Newton. But in external or international trade, we use a different currencies. We use a foreign currencies. In internal trade, the trade restrictions are very limited. But then in external trade, there's more trade restrictions. And in internal trade, we trade more of semi-durable goods. More of semi-durable goods. But whereas in external trade, we trade more of Durable goods. The durable goods, example ele electronic gadgets, example automobiles. Internal trade, in internal trade, the scale of production is very small. But whereas in external trade, the scale of production is very, very large. Macro, macro productions are happening in the external trade. In internal trade, the imposition of tax is very less. But in external trade, the imposition of tax is very high. In internal trade, there is only one political system. Because it happens within the nation. Simple example, exchange of goods and services when it happens within Bhutan. There is involvement of only one political system, that is Bhutan, Bhutanese political system. But in external trade, there is a different political system. There will be two or more political system. For example, when we exchange goods and services between Bhutan, India and Bangladesh, so there are involvement of how many political system or how many political setup? Three political setup. 
political system of Bhutan, political system of India and political system of Bangladesh. Now we are done with the difference between internal and external trade. Now we want to go further on what could be some of the advantages and disadvantages of international trade. Because of international trade, the consumer gets varieties of goods to choose. It gives consumer to consume varieties of goods which makes better standard of living or which enhances the quality of life. Simple example in the pictures, you can see that there are different, different types of toothpaste. There are different types of tooth toothpaste. So which means in terms of varieties of commodities, the consumer gets more choices. It also provides a country or it ensures the availability of raw materials and specialized goods. The country can be able to acquire those commodities which they cannot produce. For example, Bhutan can import gas cylinder. Because the cost of producing this commodities in Bhutan is very high if we compare with India. So therefore, through international trade, we can take advantages to buy this kind of specialized good. Bhutan has advantages in selling raw materials to other countries. And at the same time, Bhutan can also buy the raw materials which are not available within the country. So this is the second advantages or positive impacts of international trade. Now, through international trade, we can also focus more on specializations and divisions of labor. We can utilize the advantages of divisions of labor and specialization in productions of those goods in which they enjoy favorable production condition. Bhutan has a favorable production condition in productions of electricity because of geographical location. Because Bhutan being a mountainous country, we have a fast flowing river. So we can convert that fast flowing river into electricity. Therefore, Bhutan should specialize in production of electricity. Productions of electricity. Similarly, India has also advantages in productions of wheat. Why? Because of the geographical locations, because of the fertile land in India, because of resource endowment and technology, India can specialize in productions of that commodity. Hence, it enhances the specialization and divisions of labor. This international trade also increases the efficiency through widening market. This encourages every country to produce goods in excess. Because the country has advantages in productions of surplus good so to meet the demand within and outside the country. As a result, it helps in productivity or it increases the productivity. Are you clear with my, are you clear, uh, are you with me? Okay. So, therefore, it helps in increasing the efficiency through widening market. So, Bhutan or 
all the countries who are involved in international trade, they can take advantages in productions of surplus product so that they can sell this product to other country if it is a surplus. Cheaper goods. The price of all the commodities are not same, they, though, they, it, though it may look same. Simple example, this mobile phone. The price of this mobile phone in the market, let's take an example, it is new term 17,000. Similarly, same kind of mobile can be produced by other country with the same applications, but because of cost differences, we can find the same commodities at the different prices. Hence, it has more advantages for buyers because they get more choices to buy the goods at cheaper prices. Consumer, consumer, have, consumer will have more advantages in buying the commodities at the cheaper rates. Because the country is able to lower the price of goods and services due to the lower cost of production and therefore the consumer enjoy the product of foreign countries at the cheaper rates. So consumer gets their requirement satisfied from the cheapest market of the world and hence the availability of cheaper goods in the market happens. Competition. It's also another advantage. When there is involvement of two or more countries, these trading countries will have healthy competition. Where the country encourages, where, where the trading partners will be encouraged to have healthy competition in production of different kinds of goods at the least cost of production. It also leads to efficient allocations of resources and reduces our monopolistic exploitations. Because in this kind of market situation, the consumer will have the perfect knowledge about the commodities. Will have the perfect knowledge about the commodities. Okay, now I'll give you some more time to think upon what could be some more advantages about of the international trade? International trade also helps in optimum allocations of resources. It also leads to allocate resources fully by trading to the places where they fit the best prices and purchase the materials from the cheapest sources. Country gets a maximum advantages both as a producer and as a consumer. The another advantage is went of surplus production. It enables if any country is facing surplus productions of goods and or commodities, they can dispose it to a country that are in need. It can earn a foreign exchange by exporting these goods and attain the economic prosperity. So here, the countries who are involved in international trade, they have advantage to dispose their surplus product or to outsell their product, which is uh, to outsell their product to the country they need it. The possibility of economic development. So this is one advantage, especially to the developed, so especially to underdeveloped or a developing nation. This underdeveloped or a developing nation can always take an advantage to buy or input the technology or machineries in further economic development of her country. 
it also make consumer it also makes country to face natural calamities very easily means easier to face natural calamities so during the situations like famine epidemic scarcity the other countries come and rescue and therefore it helps in it helps to overcome this kinds of situation international cooperation this international trade promotes a mutual cooperation among the trading partners creates an atmosphere of goodwill friendship and cooperation among trading countries for example mutual cooperation within the sub countries mutual cooperation within the trading countries like we have no sapta and sapta now what could be the disadvantages of international trade this disadvantages vulnerable position during war the country which depends on the imports of essential goods is vulnerable position during war during this kind of situations or during this kind of uncertainties the countries who are too much dependent on other for essential goods they may face problems or they may face the problem or difficulty in in consumption of that essential good because the supply of that essential goods will be completely disturbed or the real situations of international trade will be affected since the international trade will be affected during the war which makes it difficult for those dependent country economic instability economic crises of one country are transmitted to another country through international trade for an example great depressions of 1930s has spread almost all the countries except russia so economic situations or economic downturn of one country can be easily transmitted to other countries through international trade the exploitations of consumer may happen the country which is too much dependent on developed country they get exploited by the developed nations like dumping activities happen or there is a chance of exploiting the underdeveloped through international trade for in, for instance organizations of petroleum exporting countries can exploit other countries by charging high price as there is no cross substitute this lodging of domestic industry this will have direct impact to the underdeveloped countries through international trade the domestic industries which is still at the infant stage will be dominated by the international market and hence it leads to a economic crisis of that particular country who are involved in international trade so it dislocate the domestic industries and the labor employed in it producing similar goods by introductions of cheaper goods and results in unemployment of the resources exhaustions of natural resources the country that solely depends on the exports of primary goods the exports of natural resources through international trade this natural resources get exhausted and as we know that the resources is very limited in nature and this cannot be replaced 
oh, this cannot be, this cannot, the resources cannot be replaced. And hence, the problem or the exhaustions of natural resources happens. Now, lopsided development. Because of specialization and divisions of labor, the country will focus in productions of only the commodities which they are good at, where they will be focusing more on productions of fewer commodities and hence other commodities will be left out. Hence it results in unequal or uneven development, uneven economic development or unequal economic development. Now imports of non-essential goods. Because of international trade, there is a chance that the trading partners can import some non-essential goods, like for example, purchase of, purchase of the luxurious goods which is available in the market. Hence, it results in the changing patterns of the consumer or it results in, in or it, it affects the consumption patterns of the country since those goods are easily available and also chances of importing harmful products like tropical products. Political interferences. The underdeveloped countries not only import goods and services from the developed countries through international trade, but also take other facilities from time to time. Meaning that through international trade, they, through international trade, they take some advantages and get some loan from the developed country. And this developed country will take their advantages. And even they will interfere in the economic and the administration, economic policy, as well as even administrations of underdeveloped country, and ultimately rule over it. This may happen. And so, as a saying by the old proverbs, like flake follows the trade. This happens because of international trade. Political conflicts happens as a result of debt activities. All the countries who are involved in international trade, their main objective is to gain the trade power. In doing so, they will try to compete each other and hence it leads to the economic, the hence it leads to a commercial, commercial uh, hence it leads to commercial rivalries and leads to the political conflicts between the trading partners. With this, with this we come to an end of the sessions. First, we learned about the trade, types of trade difference between trade, internal and external trade, advantages and disadvantages trade. Now as a follow-up activity, I want you all to write what are some of the economic consequences of countries going into lockdown due to COVID-19. For class 9 and 10, you have to write 250 words of essay. And for class 11 and 12, you have to write, yes, 250 words. Before I end my lesson, let us again recapitulate. So in this class, we learned about what is mean by trade. So trade is exchange of goods and services within and outside the country. There are two types of trade. One is international and internal trade. We have also learned the differences and the differences are based on the market 
extent based on the currency use, based on the political system. And then we learned the advantages and disadvantages of international trade. With this, thank you so much for being with me, Karinche, and hope to meet you next time with more interactive learning. Thank you so much.